Well, you know, I never, you, nobody ever really has definite uh, proof of what what happened, you know, what's going on, what happened to the planets, you know, besides tracking it. But I, I, never, I never heard anyone speak on this, what I'm about to tell you right now. Um, now, the moon, the craters in the moon. I told y'all I know what happened to the moon, right? Remember, I said that last night. Now, after I say this, everybody's going to fucking know what happened to the fucking moon. But I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. Anybody ever notice the craters on the moon? They're hexagonal. What planet has a hexagonal pattern at the pole of its of it up uh, at its pole? Saturn. Saturn hit the moon. Or it was a binary. It was a fusion between Saturn and the moon. And it might have threw off. The offspring might have been Earth and Sun. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's binary is because, I mean, when elements join, when you have, you know, the, the fusion, what it looks like. You have you have the two elements in a force in between, and when you when I when you look at the moon, you'll see if you if you look at a good picture of it, those circles are hexagonal. They're six sided. Don't no goddamn meteors hit hexagonally. That that what that shows you is there was polarity involved. Okay, it was like a magnetic attraction for it for poles to hit. Okay, remember Saturn is the, the hexagonal shape is at a pole. Okay, so it's not no no just random side impact. It won't be side impact when things are magnetic. If you got two magnets turned to the side, there those op opposing poles are going to find each other. And that's another thing that reminded me opposing poles. Saturn is uh, uh, boundaries, limitations, restrictions. Looking opulent, you know. Saturn is uh, rules and regulations. Um, uh, you know, just to, to keep things in order. So, what's the moon? It's got to be basically the opposite, the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? But I'm 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 freestyling thought. You know, I ain't gonna lie, freestyling thought. But uh, knowing that everything is it has energy, things are attracted or repelled. So, haha. <laughs> It was shot. I wonder. I wonder. Did the moon shoot away from Saturn, or did it shatter, fly away from the moon? But there was a polar attraction. I, it's no doubt in my mind. Uh, you know about it. Those aren't no fucking meteor hits, but they're multiple though. They're multiple, so it could have been like, do do do, like a fusion, like real quick, and it made multiple. That's interesting to to, to determine what was the multiple causes of it. Maybe they would. Mm, maybe they would impact based on the orb and through a certain location of the orb it will cause the magnetism to either make them come together or break away this is i'm speculating but you know hey that's how good you know questions are answered you know with, with, with speculation but that's that's my my hypothesis and you know it's going to go somewhere if somebody sees it and then they're going to have the fucking answers anyway but uh, i was sharing that with y'all so y'all knew i wasn't tripping you know what i'm saying uh with the with the moon thing last night anyway later